Hey YouTube, how's it going? Macman here, and today we are going to be taking a look at an application called Flexiglass. Now before I get into this review, I just want to apologize for not coming out with my What You Missed This Week video. Um, yesterday, I was actually not at my house at all yesterday, so I was not able to post that. Um, but anyways, um, let's jump right into the application. So Flexiglass is in the Mac App Store for, I believe, $6.99 or $7.99. Um, so you can go check that out after the video if you enjoy this application. Um, so what this allows you to do is it can do multiple things. Um, so let's say you've probably seen this in one, a couple of other videos I've done. But let's say I have a window and I want to make it full screen. Uh, if you tap the plus sign, it will make it full screen. Every single application, uh, it will become full screen. Now, a lot of applications, if you hit that green button, they will not become full screen. But this one allows you to do that. Um, so you can either do that or you can also drag it to the top of your screen. And as you can see, that box goes around my screen. If I let go, it goes full. I can drag it to the sides um, and it will go onto the side of the screen. Or I can do it on the left side of the screen. Um, so it's up to you. That way you can have like two windows open at the same time, which is quite useful. Um, another really neat thing is if I were to secondary click um, or control click on the close button, uh, it would not only close the window, but it would close the application. So let's say I have another... Uh, application open such as we'll say Tweety um, as you see if I close the window just by clicking it the application is still running but if I were to double or uh, secondary click using two fingers it would close the application as you see the light is not on that application anymore um, so let's just look in some preferences at this so I'm just gonna go to preferences um, so you have some options uh, uh, how like moving things so you can add uh, hotkeys so you just touch a button and um, it becomes full screen or you touch a button and it moves um, so you can mess around with those settings um, I currently am using the mouse my magic mouse you can also set it for trackpad um, but I'm using the magic mouse right now um, then for layouts um, you have some layouts such as the real close which is when you secondary click on the close button it will close the um, it will quit the application rather than just close the window. Uh, you also have real zoom, which is by clicking on the green plus sign, it will maximize the whole window. And you have some double click to zoom, things like that. Um, you can add quick layout shortcuts. And you also got some preferences. Uh, whenever I open up preferences, it always takes a while to load and it has this spinny color thing. I'm sure you guys have all seen it before. I uh, didn't do that time, but uh, usually it does. Anyways, um, you can have auto start on login, uh, show doc, show icon in doc, um, and some icon menu bar, blah, 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 updates, things like that. So anyways, uh, you guys can mess around with those settings however you'd like. Uh, I just have it like that right now, but that comes to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this application review. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitter and my new website. Peace.